Hi everyone, let's get started with using Kami. All right, from the student view, you're gonna to go to create a Kami assignment. Right now, the first time you get in, you're gonna to have to choose your Google account and make sure you set it up with your redlandschools.net account. You're gonna allow it to do all the things to access your drive and your Google Classroom so that you can integrate it all together. And it's gonna get started on that. For the assignment, you can choose any one of the classes, the students, and if you wanna make a draft or publish it right away. You need to add a title, and you're going to need to add some type of um, description to help the students understand what to do. You can do the points, you can set the due date, you can schedule when you want it to post, and you can pick a topic if you want. For the first time, I'm gonna send the Cami instructions to the students so that they understand what to do. I'm gonna to go to my drive, and I know the district is sending out acceptable use policies. So I'm gonna go ahead and select the acceptable use policy, and I'm gonna go ahead and add that into the assignment. So I've got it there. I wanna make a copy for each student so that they get their own. I'm gonna call it the acceptable use policy, and I'm gonna give it directions for the students to go over it with their parents and to sign it and return it. Um, I'm gonna pick August 15th. You can pick whatever day you want. When they return it, they need to actually turn it in through Google Classroom. And then I can set the due date if I want to down below as well. Right now I can't assign it because I haven't chosen who to give it to. So I'm gonna go up to four and select the class I want. I'm gonna use my demo class and I'm gonna go ahead and assign it now. If I wanna give it to us, all the students or some, I can choose them there and I wanna make sure it's published. From here, the blue assign lights up and I can click on that. Once I create the assignment, that assignment is gonna show up in the classwork for the students. So it has been created and I'm gonna open that in Google Classroom. So you'll be able to see it listed under my uh, acceptable use policy and you're gonna see that they have the directions for classroom and they have the AUP. Now from the student side, they're gonna see it possibly in the stream if I have that turned on, but they can go to classwork, digital citizenship, acceptable use policy. Student will click right there. They can see the instructions the first time. So it's just gonna give them a little cheat sheet on how to use Cami if they want. Some may use it, some may choose not to use it, and that's okay. When the student opens up the document the first time, Cami may not show up. Once they open it, it's just a PDF. We want to ask it to open with Cami. This one doesn't, the student doesn't have Cami loaded yet. So I need to connect more apps. And I'm going to choose from the App Store, I need to type in the word Cami, K A M I. Once I've done that, I can select Cami PDF and document annotation. I'm going to connect to that. And I'm going to allow Cami to use my Google Classroom. Now I can go up to Cami, I can annotate. So I'm using the open with from the top, Cami. It's gonna ask me to sign in for the first time. Now students should only have to do this the first time. It's being pushed out to the district, so some of them may have it, others may need to access it this way. We're gonna go ahead and allow. We're gonna go ahead and finish our sign up here. I'm a K-12 student. I need to let them know I'm a student. And I'm gonna finish that right there. All right, once it's up, they can watch a video if they want, but I'm gonna just show you the basics. So now I have the PDF and you can see my editing tools on the left-hand side. I need to type in the student name and parent names and signatures. So I'm gonna to go to the text box. 14 font seems good to me. I'm gonna click in the box about where I want it and I'm gonna type student name. Once I do that, I'm in the text box, I may as well do the parent name as well. I can use those little crosshairs, that, that plus sign with the arrows on it, to move it exactly where I want it. All right, so we're gonna put the parent name, we're gonna get those little crosshairs with my cursor and move it where I want it. Now I need to add the signature. At the very bottom, the option says signature. So we're gonna click that. I can upload an image, I can draw a signature, or I can just do it on my phone with my finger. I'm gonna go ahead and use my mouse to draw a signature, which should be interesting. So I'm gonna do the best I can here and see if I can sign this paper. 
And let's see, let's make an S. Uh, this is trickier than I thought. Okay, this is not as easy as I thought either. That's going to take some practice. Let's clear that one. And I'm going to try it again here. Let's see if I can get, I'm going to use the clicking and the hold down the button. And then I'm going to move my finger as if I'm signing something. So I'm going to see if I can get it to be a little bit neater than that last one. All right, so signing the word student. Ah, that's pretty good. Let's cross the T, click and drag, click and drag, and that's pretty good. Let's upload it. Once I upload it, it just kind of holds on to it. It's going to show you I want to choose the student, and then I'm going to click where I want it to go. So I'm going to move my cursor up to the student signature, and then I'm going to click right there, and it's going to leave it right there. So that's all right, except I forgot to do the date. So I'm in the text box up here, and I'm going to add the date. Let's put in August. Um, let's do 8, 11, 20. So we can get the date going on in here. And then I'm going to go ahead while I'm in the text box, I'm going to insert the date for the parent signature as well. So you can see it's fairly user friendly. I'm just clicking on a text box and I'm putting it right where I want it. Again, I can pick it up and move it around if I want to. Now the student one, the signatures are a little trickier. I can use that little corner ball to make it a little bit smaller if I want to and make sure I've got it exactly the way I want and where I want. So I still need to do the parent signature. Let's get that done. I'm going to draw it again. Let's see if I can do a little bit better on the parent signature. Ah, a little practice makes it a little easier. All right, let's upload that. I can choose student or parent, parents highlighted. I'm going to insert parent. I'm going to click on the parent signature box and there it goes. All right, let's make it a little, oh my goodness, I got kicked out. Okay, so I'm going to authorize my Google Drive again. When this happens, it's frustrating, I know, but you just kind of roll with it. We're going to go ahead and allow everything in Cami again, make sure it all gets saved. I may have lost my internet connection for a minute. All right, so I'm going to shrink down the parent, and then maybe I want to center it a little bit more. To move it here, I'm going to highlight that box, and then you'll see the toolbar above. I'm going to grab that plus signal, those crosshairs and move it right where I want it. So it's really that easy. I've got the type name, I've got the signature, I've got the date, I'm ready to go. I'm gonna go up to the top where it says turn in. I'm gonna click that turn in button. So as a student now I can turn in this signed document. It's gonna save it to my student Google, Google Drive. So I will have it there already saved. And so it's gonna let me, <coughs> excuse me, submit it. Now I can exit out of that screen. Let's go back to my original classroom tab and I'm gonna back up and go back to my classroom. Close that PDF. Now you can see it right there in my classroom. Digital citizenship, the assignment is there. Now when I click on the assignment, you're gonna be able to see that it has been turned in over here on the side. If I want to edit it for any reason, I can un unsubmit it and turn it back in. From the teacher side, we can look at that here. From the teacher side, I can see that one student has turned in their document. When I click on that student's document, I can see that the document has been turned in. And as I scroll down, I can see that it has been signed by both the student and the parent. So we are good to go. They've taken that PDF, they've added their signature, and now it will stay in my Google Classroom and I'll have it for reference. Thank you very much.